Hello and welcome back to another episode of Vlog Mail. This time it's March 2021, and our featured letter is from Thomas in Garden City, Idaho. And what does Thomas send our way? Uh, a birthday card, and it says... Moist. Inside it says, now your birthday can only get better from here, you're welcome. True. And Thomas says, since I sent this before Stephen's birthday and you probably opened it after Mal's birthday, you can argue over who gets the privilege of claiming this is their birthday card from Thomas, a.k.a. Akuma Matsuro. Matsurudo. Well, I think it's mine. It's yours? Okay. I thought we would argue. You, you, you were willing to give me the most card. It. You will. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, anyway, Thomas, thank you. Um, yeah, it, it's a shared birthday card because, and Thomas knows as well as anyone knows that um, we always get to mail a little bit later. On that note, we're getting to mail a little bit later, but we appreciate everything that uh, folks sent in, and we're going to be um, going through all the stuff that uh, that we got sent to us in uh, in March. Also. Um, this is from Anonymous, but it was shoved in an envelope. It's a copy of Rayman 3. Thanks. All right, let's open the uh, packages. First up, we have a, uh, a package from Natasha in Delta, British Columbia. Ooh, here, take those. Oh, oh my goodness. This is um, them little, th them, them little, them little washi, them little washi tapes. Read me after looking at your gifts. Oh, snap, look at this. Check this out. This is an iron-on patch. Check this out. Oh, that's and really this. that's really cool. They're iron-on patches. This turned out really good. It did. It turned out really, really good. Wow. Um, but there's also immense tape. immense amounts of washi tape. Oh, there's and some really cool ones in there. It says, oh, and then for the iron, uh, iron briefly on front to establish position, then iron from back on high to secure like cool before testing adhesion. Man, it's been a long time since I've even used any iron-ons. Because I remember being younger, and this will probably sound bizarre. Um, when I was real little, I had a denim jacket that I wore all the time. Um, this is when I was like, I don't know, five or six. And it had like all sorts of patches and stuff all over it. My grandfather also had a denim jacket. And we had a lot of like matching patches and stuff. And it was, it was cute. It was cute. It was cute. Very cute. And uh, the, uh, the patches are from uh, NK, NK card, NK, NK designs, nk.card.co, customizable patch commissions. Cool. These are awesome. That's really neat. I, and again, Rainbow there's- Rainbow bacon. <laughs> that's something, it's uh, some, patches just in general are something I haven't thought about in a long time. When I was in high school, mm -hmm. other people that were in the punk scene were doing Iron on patches for certain things, but it's been a long time since I um, did that. Anyway, I'm assuming. Oh yeah, there's a letter too. Yeah, I, you were just sitting there. I was like, I think there's I forgot, more. There's I put more it to this. On my lap. Uh, dear Stephen Mao, greetings from Vancouver, Canada. My name is Roz Beetleboy. And this is a small token of my thanks to the two of you for all the content you've put out over the years. I've been a casual viewer for a while, but I've been diving into your considerable backlog this past year. The reason I first started watching was because I saw Dear Sagan, who looks like a long lost relative to our cat, Samson. He's also a big, doofy cat baby. Now for the contents of this package, for Mao, a ton of washi tape <laughs> samples from my own hoard for her techo. I drop in and out of journaling, but enjoy watching the Hobonichi unboxings to bring my motivation back. For whoever wants them, the only Stephen Amal themed patches that I know of. I do custom designs for patches out of my home, as well as my own designs, details on the business card and the envelope. Oh, okay, so yeah, those are yours. Sometimes folks commission a thing and then include it with their leather, but those are actually yours. That's very cool. Uh, you can sew or iron them on your choice. I made one Kepi, one Vlog logo, and a Good Vibes patch, so you can take the vibes with you everywhere. Uh, all of your videos, Happy and Sad, have helped out a lot during this lonely year. It's sometimes hard for me to connect to my friends regularly, so having some updates from your family is nice. You two have brought such joy to the world with your videos as well as your charity work with Extra Life, Make-A-Wish, and Direct Relief, and gathering all your lovely grandkids into a chill and supportive uh, corner of the web. I wish good health and fortune to you guys and your families, and uh, we'll continue enjoying everything you create. P.S. Your mother saying don't eat Steven's nuts at Rocco is probably the funniest thing I had heard in months. Bless Mama George. And then this is a... a uh, PPS, it says, explain papaya protein powder. 
What is that? I don't know. Is that a joke that I made? <laughs> it might be. If it's a joke that I made, I can't explain it because uh, it's generally a stream of consciousness out of my mouth. And, then, and it is immediately forgotten. And then immediately mm -hmm. forgotten. Um, people people bring up jokes to me that I've made from like the past videos and stuff. And and then I'm just like, did I did I say that? And they're like, yes. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. My, my memory is not have the level of capacity to remember my own jokes. And then Triple P.S. at the time of writing this, a combined happy birthday to Steven, belated Mao, and Dan in the future. Or at this point, all belated, but again, People know that. People know we're opening stuff late. Uh, Ross, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, and again, the patches are super, super cool. They are super cool. Because, like, especially the, the good vibes when it came out particularly well. Like, I'm actually really impressed at how like, detailed and everything that is. Super cool. Really, really unique gift. And we appreciate it. Our next package is from the Yeti. And I have a note in my phone that this is actually from uh, Shadow Yoshi 91. So let me open this up and see what Shadow Yoshi sent our way. And there are, there are two, yeah, there are two different t-shirts in here. <laughs> oh my God. It's a, it's a, like a, a ramen or noodle themed, uh, what's the word? What's the, what's the Japanese word? Gaijin? No. Kaiju? Kaiju! What is gaijin? <laughs> Foreigner. Oh. Used in a sentence, I am a gaijin for not knowing the word for kaiju. Uh, yeah, kaiju, that's it. So there's that. Oh, I think these are, oh, they're kind of matching. Oh my God. Oh my God, he's nigiri. Look at this. Oh, that's hilarious. It's Godzilla, but he's he he's made of rice and he got he got the fish on his back. Oh, these, these are, are cool. Fun. These are really fun and they're matching, mm -hmm. which is really, which is, well, I mean, you know, matching in the sense that they are clearly themed the same. Oh, those are really cool. Oh, on the side it says Sushizilla. Oh, that's a better name. Does this one have a name? Illustrata? Oh, that's the person that illustrated it. This one doesn't have a name, does it? Or if it does, it's Down in... Down here. Oh, uh, Dark Ramen. That's the name of this one, Dark Ramen. Okay, <laughs> those are cute. Shadow Yoshi, I appreciate it. Uh, these are these are certainly unique. Mm -hmm. It also, despite the fact that it is a monster, makes me want to eat ramen. I don't know what that says about me. Next up, we have a package from, uh, it says Cheer Technology. I'm not exactly sure what Cheer Technology is. And inside. <laughs> oh my god. The Seattle mud crabs are real. Look at the back of this. It's, it's a real George 38. Holy crap. Holy crap. That's incredible. This probably goes with that, right? That's what I thought. Okay. Okay, so so this is actually from uh, Josh in Trenton, uh, Trenton, Georgia, um, AKA Ice Chocobo. The leather arrived the previous month, mm -hmm. but the the jersey, is that what is, is it a jersey? Yeah, it's a jersey. Is it jer is it the difference between a jersey and a, or are they just all jerseys? There's a jersey as a noun, and jersey is also a type of fabric. Anyway, there's a leather that goes along with this. So, dear Stephen Mao, I've been trying to find something to send y'all for months. However, I wanted it to be memorable. I had heard of F Customs before, but I never had the chance to order something from them. Then the idea hit me like a rock, or mud crab. I had an official Mud Crabs jersey made for you or Mal to wear. It should have a stitch nameplate and number. It is either for wearing on stream or confusing people at the grocery store in the aftertimes. I hope y'all love it. Y'all are one of the only gaming channels I watch since moving out of the country because of the virus. My only friends have been the chickens my family owns. They don't talk much, uh, just a bunch of clucking from them. 
Uh, hope your 2021 is better for both of you. From Josh, aka Ice Chocobo. This is one of the coolest things I've ever received. This is really awesome. Um, Josh, again, and I want to hold this up so everyone sees this, it's just, it's really fantastic. It's really, really fantastic. And they actually, they did a really good job on this too. Like, I had never heard of that website, F Customs, but like, they did a good job with like the stitching and everything. Yeah, this, um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna wear this and confuse the crap out of people because I think that that's absolutely hilarious. Josh, this is super neat, and uh, thank you, thank you for doing uh, <laughs> for doing. It makes me want to play baseball, which I can't do. I can't play baseball. I don't know how to play baseball. I, I like. I know how. I know like how you do it. I just don't. You know, I've, don't, I haven't played since I was little, so I would clearly do bad. Yeah. That's my point. Next up is a package from uh, Amazon. Amazon, and this is from Cassie. Oh, I have I have a I have a gift note on my phone, like a extended gift extended note. Extended gift note. Extended gift note. There is, there's this. Ooh, what is this? Silk blowout. Um, it has more words on it, but there's Thermal the two. Spray. Those are the two I read. And uh, there's also these, which I think are if if a person wants to become a crab, there might be I've more. I've never to it seen than that. clips like this. They're specialty clips. They're also they're in a variety of like pastel colors, so you can see. And I think there's more. He's so neat. I think there's more to this. Yeah, there's another thing that goes with this. Okay. So, I should find that. It's, that's why I should I should find it. Hold on. Okay. This is the other thing that goes with this, and it's uh it's this. It's a it's a one step oh. hair dryer volumizer uh brush thing. Stephen, whose mom has gone to beauty school and has a license. It's a thing. <laughs> I don't know. It's a it's a special brush. It's a special, I don't know, I don't know much about hair. Well, you plug it in and the heat shoots out the, so it can dry and like it'll, you can kind of like curl it as at the same time. Okay, so it's like a hot brush. It is a hot brush. I made that term up right now and it's correct. All right, uh, this is from Cassie. It uh -huh. says, happy birthday, Mal. I have one of these and it saves me so much time with my hair. You've been talking about how you style on stream and wanting some curl in your hair and this will give you just that. I also included some heat protectant slash serum to help hold and my favorite type of hair clips to section. I hope it works for you as well as it does for me. Happy birthday again. Cool, thank you. Thank you, Cassie, it's very sweet. And I've I, never used one of these. I have never seen I've one. I've only ever seen like blow dryers and curling irons and straighteners. Yeah, so I'm familiar with all of those things. Yeah. I could pick those up out of a, a lineup, but this was new. I've never yeah. seen, it's like a special, cool. it's a hot brush. I'm sticking with hot brush. It's, that's what it is. It's a brush, it gets hot, it's a hot brush. It's a blow dryer brush. But it ain't gonna... Cause it blows air. Like hot air. It, it, it does? Yeah. So like it... Cause it has max drying power. So there's air shooting out of it too? Yeah, it plugs in. And then it shoots air out of the, the bristles. That's crazy. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I don't know much about... That. I mean, anything, really. I really, <laughs> very few, like in the, in the scope of human hair, knowledge. Your hair would be like, even yeah. puffier. Yeah, and I mean, right now it's, it's pretty puffy. Um, it's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it someday and it'll be fine. Anyway, Cassie. Thank you. That was very, very sweet. Thank you. Next up, we have a, uh, a package from uh, GameStop. And let me get this. Oh, oh. It real, uh, like, sticky inside. Yeah, that's how that stuff works. That's. It just molds around the object. That's incredible. It still doesn't want to come out. You come out now, demon. You come out. Come out. I did it. Uh, this is a PS4 copy of 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. 
Vanillaware, the stories behind Odin Spear and Dragon's Crown, craft a sci-fi mis mystery epic spanning 13 intertwining uh, stories. Um, this, hold on, I have a mail note for this too. See, when, fo when folks want to send something and then, like, for whatever reason, they can't include a gift note because sometimes the service doesn't let them, um, they'll, there's, I guess there's a few different ways, but a lot of people will just tweet me and be like, hey, I sent vague description of thing and this is the thing. Um, or if they're on the Discord, sometimes they'll send me a message on the Discord. Uh, I, I was told by Yuki Mizuno that they were going to send a very anime PS4 game. So I think this qualifies. <laughs> I think this is very anime PS4 game. Uh, and uh, Yuki notes it's their personal favorite game of 2020 and a masterpiece. And it is it is a game uh, from Atlas. Beautifully rendered in Vanillaware's signature hand-painted visual style and cover deep story through visions of the past and the future. The doomsday clock is ticking. Become a sentinel pilot, customize your mech, and fight waves of kaiju in top-down tactical combat. But you probably don't fight a ramen monster. Probably not. DLC? Maybe? Maybe not. Uh, either way, Yuki, thank you. I appreciate it. I've, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've never heard of this game. I've never heard of it. But uh, Atlas usually does really, really fantastic stuff. Uh, and then, as a completely different side note, stuff that ends up being hard to find later on, because they're like, yeah, no, let's make, like, ten? I'm thinking we should make ten copies of the game? And everyone's like, should we make more Atlas? And Atlas is like, yeah, like, ten? Like, well, we have, like, a thousand people in the parking lot that want this game. So, twelve. Twelve? Twelve? It's Atlas's problem. Anyway, uh, Yuki. Thank you again. So next up, we have a, uh, a package that is from uh, Book Book Time Book Duck Book Depository, and it's actually it's addressed to you. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'll just open it. It's that fine. is a large book. This is a this is a big big honking book. This is Odin's Child, despised, dreaded, and hunted. The Raven Ring, Siri uh, Peterson. Peterson? Neat. That is a big book. That is a big old. That is a big old book. Uh, let's see. There's no um, note on the. There's no note on up. this, but I can just about guarantee I know who this is from. We also had a note in here from uh, traveling through Aldra, who says I ordered a book for you and a package with DVDs, and this is the book. And I believe this is the package of DVDs. So it's kind of like a, a thing. The, the book is probably for you, uh -huh. because it has your name on it. And I've it, never heard of that. And it's, it's, check it out. it's so big. It is a large book. And this, in here, uh, yeah, so this is some DVDs. This is the Caprino's movie collection and it's a it's all sorts of I is this Norwegian Norwegian films I can't read them unfortunately because they are I think are... they might have English subtitles though to see the British flag yeah 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 I just can't read the back of the thing but there's there's a collection of films Caprinos Event Eventrig Verden. Ooh, one of these is Aladdin. Oh, really? I think. For the first time on DVD. That's not what it says. Oh, it says it's not Aladdin. It says for Forstig Gang Pa DVD, but I'm assuming that means for the first time on DVD. These are old, too. This is 19... There's a word in red that looks like it might be kind of a loan word that looks like Aladdin, but it's on the other one too, so I don't Nin think so. 1949, 1955, 1952. So these are these are quite, quite old. I think this is just, is this just Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? I think this is Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. This one looks like, um, it reminds me of the old Christmas films, like with um, yeah, the it, Island of Misfit Toys and stuff. Yeah. Uh, well, it's but just it looks this, more detailed than... It's just the style. Yeah. Yeah, these these seem to, to be like Norwegian uh, film classics that I have never heard of because 
I am not from uh, not from Norway. Um, neat. Yeah. Neat. These are really this is really like thoughtful gifts. I appreciate this. Uh, so traveling through all them, um, we appreciate it. Thank you. Next up, we have a package from Sarah in Madison, Wisconsin. Got it open. Inside, there's a little card, and it says deceive in a mail. And inside the envelope is the actual card, and it says Cadison. And it's got a bunch of Stephen, little. Stephen, who's this? Who's what? That? Yeah. The Wisconsin Badgers. What's his name? Dog. He's a, is it a cat? He's a badger, but he's. Oh, the he's, Badgers he's mascot is like, a badger. He's set up like a cat because it's. Cadison. Yeah, okay. But is, he, is a badger normally look like that? A little, yeah. Oh, okay, so really not that different. Well, yeah. I, what's his name? Yeah, he has a name. Badgy. Badger. Badgerton. Bad, bad, badge, badge. Okay. Badge John. Badge John. Bad John. Bad John. <laughs> John is bad. Don't trust John. Don't trust John. He's bad. Bad John. Where are we were talking about again? Read the letter. Okay. Um, Stephen Mao, I couldn't resist sending you this card from Sarah. I love that card. It's a good Sarah. There's a brat with a cat head on it and spotted cow, but it's a cat. Oh, look at, look at these little things on the back here. We got some little illustrations. Aww. All right. Uh, dear Stephen Mao, my name is Sarah and I'm from Madison, Wisconsin. I've been watching your videos since late 2019. They've been a great source of fun and entertainment during 2020. I also love watching your breakfast streams every week. Look forward to them so much. And I especially love the Stephen and Friends Animal Crossing videos. I thought I would send you a package of some uh, Wisconsin goodies. One of the mustards is from the National Mustard Museum in Middleton. It's also right next door to one of my favorite places for pie, the Hubbard Avenue Diner. I got the, ch uh, the cherry mustard because it's from one of my favorite places in Wisconsin. Door County is so beautiful and relaxing. So it's interesting because like, I'm only like vaguely familiar with things in Wisconsin. I've told you about the mustard. But Mal talks about Wisconsin because she's from there. And I know that like, like I could identify Door County in, in terms of the fact that I've heard it. Which part of the state is it? The, if you use your hands. To make the glove, you gotta make the glove. And which Door County is here. Here, it's right here. It's, it's the entire peninsula. It's the entire thumb, which was, yeah, I was testing <laughs> myself and I failed. Um, I've always wanted to take you up there, but I haven't. And I've always wanted to take you to the Mustard Museum. But. Yeah, the fact that the fact that we've been married for almost ten years and you haven't taken me to any mustard museum is very upsetting. It's not too far from my dad's. We'll go there next time. Okay. Well, we should because it's mustard and it's my favorite condiment. So here is uh, here is that country ovens cherry delight cherry mustard. Okay, hold on. There's more to read. Um, do 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 do. Let's see. Uh, the stickers and washi tape and card are from Anthology. Anthology is a paper and stationery store in downtown Madison. I always want everything in there. I hope you enjoy everything from Sarah. Uh, Rainy Days 48 on Twitch. Well, Sarah, first off, thank you for, for thinking of us. I appreciate it. And, um, oh, these are cute. Oh, they're so cute. They're little kitties. Everything is a kitty, which is totally fine. If you want to send us something, you're like, hmm, I don't know. Everything's a kitty? That's fine. Turns out we like kitties. Uh, there's other fun stuff in here. There is, this is, uh... It's from the Mustard Museum. This is from the Mustard well, Museum. Well, it has the logo on it. Sweet and nicely hot. What a strange way of putting that. Sweet and nicely hot. Can I have this? I want to read the side yes. of it to you. Keep in mind, your mother does not work here. If you spill this mustard for crying out loud, clean it up yourself. Okay. I can do that. That's cute. And then there's also uh, Raspberry Rose. Uh, this is jam. Yes, this is jam. I know <laughs> Not how. mustard. I was like, what a strange look. Uh, tasting notes, fruit punch, lime, and port pairs perfectly with uh, gu gru gruyere or contre fresh chevra lemon. Oh, that's lemon. Lemon shortbread. Gruyere? Yeah, well, you know these words. They're, they're, they make them hard on purpose. This sounds really good. To confuse me. Here is some of that washi tape. A little stamp washi tape with little key cats on it. 
There's oh, also, it's cute. ooh, look at this, candied pecans. Oh snap. At Treat, we make every batch by hand in our small Wisconsin kitchen. Ingredients, pecans, sugar, and salt. Looks good. And then, hold on, there's a little more. Tea! Organic loose leaf tea. Uh, this is from Rusty Dog Coffee in Madison. Very, very cool. Moroccan mint. Moroccan mint. I mean, I'm down to have some, some green tea. Somewhat soon. <laughs> Somewhat soon. I, I haven't been doing I haven't been doing caffeine, but I'm gonna do caffeine again. And when I do, I'm gonna have some of that. In the meantime, my, it is I'm a green tea mint that. blend. Yeah. Yeah. Um. First off, uh, Sarah, thank you for all of this. This is a this is such a nice little I think representation of Madison, which is cute little things in Madison. Yeah, yeah and, and like folks do that from time to time where they'll be like, hey, here's just a, uh, a collection of things from my city. And this is a really good example of that. Mm -hmm. There's just all these interesting things. Um, really want to go to the Mustard Museum. Really want to go. And we live kind of far away. My dad doesn't. <laughs> but when we're visiting next, can mm -hmm. you, can we make sure we go to the Madison Mustard Museum? Yeah. Because like it's mustard and it's a museum. Yeah. So it's probably like the history of mustard. Maybe. And the history of me eating it. I really like mustard. I like all condiments. I'm not hot on mayo, but everything else, everything else is pretty, but, but mustard's my top. Anyway, Sarah, thank you. Next up, we have a package from Hope in Lexington, North Carolina. Whew. I had a hard time getting that open. All right, inside, ooh. Look at that. Oh. A little catnip cat and a little catnip mouse. So cute. It's cute. There's also... Kepler's currently asleep off camera. Well, so it's good he doesn't see that unless yet. Unless his little nose starts working. There's a game in here. This is uh, Greed Fall. Oh, there's... Hold on. There's more things in here. There's also... Uh, Zumba Fitness World Party for the Wii U. And... There's a blank case. Oh, it's just a case. Oh, it's just a spare case. There's uh, uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf. Uh, Link Between Worlds. Oh, that's cool. Actually, never played that. Uh, Pokemon Moon. Uh, Majora's Mask 3D. And also a copy of Ocarina of Time 3D. And, hold on, there's one more thing down here. Let's get to the bottom of this. It's Just Dance 3. And there is also a letter. So let me open up this letter here. This uh, says, uh, Dear Kepi Mao and Steven, my name is Hope, aka Queen of Twilight on Twitch from Lexi Lexington, North Carolina. I've been a long time lurker on your channels, long enough that I've honestly forgotten when I originally started watching. I only started interacting with you guys in the community during the last couple of years, but that's really just me being my usual introverted self. Over the past year, the videos you two have put out have brought some of the positivity and laughs that I think everyone has needed. I will say though, 2020 wasn't as bad as it could have been on my end. I finished college and we got a new fur baby. His name is Dobby. Lindsay should like that reference. And he is a very sweet rescue mutt. His picture is at the bottom. He is filling the hole left by the passing of our last pet, a poodle named Prancer, who passed away in 2017. Well, enough about me. Uh, I've wanted to send a package for a while, but had to accumulate stuff to send you guys for some time. Also, I'm a professional procrastinator, but we don't talk about that. In the box, you will find a toy for Kepi, since I could never resist that cute face. I hope he enjoys. You'll also find copies of Zumba Fitness, Just Dance 3, uh, and Greedfall. The 3DS cases included are empty, as I had discussed with you beforehand. Oh, okay. The games in my original 3DS were stolen early last year, don't ask, so they are of no use to me anymore. Don't worry, I have a new 3DS and never replaced the games. I kept most of the covers on them as well, uh, just in case they would be useful. Uh, you'd be surprised, actually. Um, a lot of times we wind up with carts, and we don't have the games. <laughs> So that's, that's actually very, very helpful. That's actually very, very helpful. Uh, let's see. I uh, hope this letter finds you both well. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? And then let me show you the picture here of Dobby. So you Dobby. Can... Dobby? Is that how you pronounce that? Mm -hmm. Oh, you would know, wouldn't you? Okay, well, Dobby then. We can very do, do an enhance here. Hope, thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. And, um,. Thank you for sending all the, the, the stuff our way. Obviously, uh, Wii and Wii U games are always extremely helpful. And uh, getting cases 
it's actually um, something that we certainly don't mind, uh, as you probably knew by watching um, Deal or No Deal for the Nintendo DS. Deal or No Deal for the Nintendo DS. Deal or... Yeah, you can, just can't have enough of the, of the cases around. Anyway, hope. Thank you. Our next package is from Bellingham, Washington. Right on top says, Yo, look! It's a letter. Seems to be that way. Dear Stephen Mount, hello! My name is Joe and I'm a college student in Washington State. I've been watching you both for a while, no clue how long because I have the memory of a goldfish, so we'll just play it safe and stay vague. I wanted to say thank you to both of you for all the hard work you do to put out content. I love listening to Let's Plays and vlogs while I'm working or just to relax, and I enjoy mouse art videos, which often inspire me to work on my own stuff. That being said, I don't really do that much other than doodle. See, this leather. And there's, there's a bunch of little doodles. They're very cute. They're very cute. I like the doodles. Anyway, I also uh, enjoy watching mail videos, but I've never really had the motivation to send something in. I recently finished Chibi Robo and remembered there was an amiibo, so of course I bought two. I figured I would send y'all one y'all's way to humbly and subconsciously remind you to play the game. It would work great on stream, just a thought. In respects uh, towards keeping it short, that's all from me. Again, I appreciate all the, that you both do. The, consistent, the consistency you've given with content has been a nice rock to fall back on, especially with the turbulent times we're still in. I hope you both continue to take things in stride and are ready for the world to get a little less crazy. Sincerely, Joe. Well, that was nice. And also, there's a Chibi Robo Amiibo? Yeah. You've never seen it? No? Okay. Did I know he that? Has the little outlet or the plug oh above his head. Oh my god, it's adorable. I mean, yeah, I know what Chibi Robo looks like. I know, but I. I don't think I knew they made this! I knew they made that. Really? Yeah. Okay. He's cute, isn't he? Oh, they did make, I was like, they only do Amiibos when they make a game, but they made a game, Ziplash. Ziplash is, uh, is that on three, I guess it's on 3DS. Huh. You can use this to transform into Super Chibi Robo. Man, Nintendo ain't doing enough with that IP. Mm -hmm. They're really not. It's such a cute, interesting, wacky character. It's what, it's one of those, it's one of those series that you're, you, makes you question like, how did this get? out of Japan, what's it doing here? But it's super cute. It's super cute. And if if I knew that this existed, I have forgotten, and now I, it's a joy to re-remember. So Joe, thank you. This is super cute, and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Chibi Robo sit on our shelf. Also, I really like the the background here that they did with the bottle and the, the baseball. Kind of gives it some a sense of scale. It's cute. Our next package is from Veronica in Newfoundland, Labrador. Sorry, hold on. Oh, I did it. Cool. The, bo the Canadian boxes are just a little confusing. They're very nice, though. They come. They they don't open the same way. Anyway, dear Stephen Mao, uh, my name is Vera, but online I go by either uh, Veronique Magic or my uh, art, more professional branding that you may see fan art from, uh, Vera Nugent Art. Uh, despite having watched you since 2011, this is my first time I've been able to write or send anything at all. My first LP was Minecraft, just before Mal joined in. It's been a great decade of quality content and entertainment. Uh, I look forward to every video from all of your collective channels, and you've brought me so much joy over the years. I do want to thank you especially for the last year or so, as it's been very challenging and your LPs, both old and new, have been a real beacon and comfort through hard times. Since I've never sent anything before, I kind of felt like indulging in the sending of food. I sent some typical Canadianisms, but also some local things. I've sent you some Purity Jam Jams, Strawberry Purity Syrup, Purity Peanut Butter Kisses, as well as a Crispy Crunch, a peanutty bar for Steven, and a Kit Kat for Mal, since I know they're your favorite. <laughs> Purity is iconic Newfie fare, but unless you uh, like things very, very sweet, dilute the syrup, for the love of God. I hope you like them! It's a sin I can't send you jigs or figgy duff or tootins or scrunchians or a feed of Mary Browns even. Sorry, I'm not convinced that any of those things were real words. But those don't come prepackaged, unfortunately, and probably wouldn't make it to you anyway. Ask Proton John if you're curious about what anything in the last <laughs> sentence means. Yeah, I know, I was like... <laughs> jigs or figgy duff or tootins or... I, it's probably Tautons. not... Tautons. Tautons? Or tootons. It's probably not Tootins. Probably not. <laughs> you gotta get yourself a few a few toot toots. 
a little a little poop pots. Anyway, that being said, I wanted to thank you all for the entertainment you've provided me, all the laughs and all the comfort. I hope to continue watching you for a long time to come, so keep up the fantastic work. Sincerely, Vera. Well, Vera, thank you. Um, I'm get Oh, my goodness. That's a large thing of Kit Kat. Yeah, I was expecting like a single Kit. These are Kit Kat Chunky. Uh, we've talked about this before. They are branded Chunky in Canada and then maybe other parts of the world. In the US, they were called uh, Big Cats called them big cats. Uh, there's also Crispy Crunch, the crispy, savory peanut butter and uh, sweet chocolatey treat. Those look really good. Yeah. Those look really good. They're for me. Yeah. Because they got the, the peanuts. There's also Jam Jams. This, this, oh, I shouldn't. Check the need. other side. Oh, moist jam filled cookies, artificial flavor. Now trying to prevent me from reading more French. Too much French. Yeah, um, everyone has to suffer. Peanut butter kisses. Ooh, they're so good. They're so good. They're so good right now. Oh my God. Oh, they smell incredible. I bet these, we have something similar to this in the States. Yeah, okay. Oh, that is a large bottle. We have something similar. I don't know what they're called. Hmm. But they taste very similar to this. this and is I the love them. Strawberry syrup. Mmm. You know what the ironic thing about the name Peanut Butter Kisses is? Uh huh. If I eat peanut butter, you can't have kisses. Badooch. Because she's a allergic. Anyway, this entire bag is for me. Uh, Vera, thank you. This is um, this is fantastic, and uh, it's probably no surprise. I always love receiving food. I like snacks. Everyone can feel free to send snacks our way, because I'll um, eat them, or also share them with my friends, who can now be back in the house. Yeah. Which means also that they're being able to share some of the stuff that we receive, too. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to send John a little message to be like, hey, First off, how do you pronounce Tootins? And what is a Tootin? And hopefully he'll be able to uh, to tell me. Vera, thank you again. Our last package is from Calvin and Vic in San Francisco, California. I did it. You have to you have to be excited for the little things in life. So if I can if I successfully open a package, I'm allowed to be excited. Anyway. Dear Stephen Amau, happy belated birthdays. There was a non-COVID related delay in the process of getting this package shipped out. In the box, you will find, as always, many treats for you and to share, and few additional items. To highlight some of them, the candy bento uh, contains candy bento. <laughs> Sorry. Candy bento. Is it that? The bottom one? Uh, no, those are just little, don't, oh my God, these are beautiful. These are beautiful. That's not even the thing that we're talking about, but those are beautiful. I wanna eat all of those immediately. Um, oh my God, I don't even know where this I thing is. I think the entire thing is, they're considering that. Oh, it's all a can, oh. Okay. <laughs> oh yes, I can't read. I got so excited by the phrase candy bento that I didn't proceed beyond that. Someone taking like a, a bento lunchbox and like yes. carefully putting the candies in it. The whole thing is the it's like, what is a candy bento? The box, you idiot. Okay, um, <laughs> let me read. Let me read past the two words. Jesus, I'm I'm a I'm a sad man. Uh, Sella's milk chocolate cherries. Okay, I'm. How about you read it and we'll find it. Okay, Lent truffles, uh, dulce de leche, milk with white milk chocolate and strawberry dark chocolate, Ghirardelli Valentine's heart chocolate assortment, and Hershey's Kisses uh, cherry. Lay's salted egg flavor. What? Oh, that's interesting. Salted egg. You can have these. You can probably have these. I'll check. You can check. Yeah, I can have this.
That's pretty mild. The, the scent is a little stronger than the taste. Sorry, I had to know. What salted egg flavored chips tasted like? I like chip, I like egg. <laughs> I, I like salt. It's kind of a weird one, but you know, I wanted to know. Scratch off posters for movies. <coughs> Sorry. There is some chili powder in there. Woo! Um, scratch off posters for movies in from the 20th and 21st century. Cinema edition. Oh, this is one of those, um, this is one of those things where it, 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 uh, I know what this is, where when you've seen a film, you mark it off. Yes. So I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to pull all this out, but it, that's what this is, where, where I've seen these before online, where like, as you watch a movie, you can mark off that you've seen it. It's like all of the classics. That's actually really cool. Um, and a few games for your collection. We also included a square of the Christmas wrapping paper that you like. Hope all is well with you and yours. Stay healthy and safe. Take care, Calvin and Beck, and your stick-based dealer and Tetris master slash doctor. Not sure anymore. Having a big thank you, and as I was just saying on the on the previous package, it's it's actually really nice now because we're having folks back in, so we can share all of these things, which is um, which we like because we like to share, and our friends like because they like sweets <laughs> and treats. Um, so what other things are in here? There are uh, felty brights, white LEDs, decorative light string. Huh. That's interesting. Fun felt icon light strand. Oh hey, there's an it's extra a loaded list. An extra bag of, uh, of that. Um, oh, we also have little cards in here. Oh, I didn't even, I, I was, I, I was looking for the candy bento. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's cute. Happy birthday. Oh, I like that card a lot. And knowing the audience of the channel, they will also very it has much. has a shine to it. Yeah, they will also yeah. like this card. It's a cool card. Hope your day is next level. Happy birthday, Steven. Aw. I, you know, I, I had a good birthday. I did. I, I had, I had a good birthday. Um, next year will be even better. Uh, anyone that celebrated a birthday during the pandemic, which, since it went longer than 12 months, is everyone, will agree with that statement. But, like, I, you know, things were still, things were still good. I've, I, I had, I had a, I, I had a good year, all, all things considered, you know, um, could it have been better? Yeah. So but was what were it, those donuts? But was it bad? No, was it bad? Donut-shaped Belgian chocolates. Oh, that's what they are. Yeah. Little tiny. They're they're super freaking cute. Strawberry cream, caramel cream, vanilla they're chocolate. Super cute. All right. Oh, actually, you were wrong. There I is a wrong. You were wrong. There is a candy bento. This is the candy bento. It's not a legend. It's real. You tried to convince me it wasn't real. Oh, it's I saw real. It like a diva. It's real. <laughs> the candy bento is real. Oh my god, that's a lot of candy. That's a lot of. We need to. Have, we gotta have a board game night and have folks over and just keep this whole thing on the. Also, I can't. I can't. This is so heavy. Yeah. See, it's real. It is, it's it's re I knew in my heart. I knew in my heart. You were right. I was right. It's <laughs> real. Anyway, there's also birthday birthday cake truffles. Uh, the Brookside dark chocolate. Oh, mm. Ooh, those look good. Those look good. Goji, Goji and raspberry. raspberry. Oh my god, those look fantastic. I need to get the taste of egg out of my mouth. Really? Because I need more egg in. This is what it kind is Wheat. this? Wheat. Honey. Chocolate cream covered biscuit stick. Yeah, that's what it always says for these. I'm not sure what this is. It has a little piece of wheat on here mm. with like some butter and milk. I don't know. Mm. Some sort of chocolate. Mm. Uh, yeah. We're just opening all of the things right now. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Dan's editing this like. I need some of that stuff. Damn! Come on over and get it. And he's gonna get up from his desk and then be like, "No, no, you have you have to finish editing. You have to finish this video first. And be like, "Oh, I'm sorry." Okay. Um, blueberry. Uh, chocolate almond. These are really good. Uh, black cocoa sticks. Those are good. Oh snap! 
I don't. These are new. Kit Kat I've duos. I've seen the duos before. We've seen duos, mm -hmm. but I don't think we've seen mocha and chocolate. Mm -hmm. That's new. There's two of them here. So those sound incredible. Tart raspberries and dark chocolate. Who? Here is here is that little piece of uh, it's of so wrapping cute. paper. It is cute. They're little they're little holiday sloths. I love the concept of holiday sloths, to be honest. There's also a few games in here as well. There is Yokai Watch, which I've always been uh, kind of curious about. Emil was talking about it um, whenever he was here, and then also he threw in a character from Yokai Watch in my name that Pokemon quiz. I identified it, thankfully. There's uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Uh, I think I think Dan is a fan of this one. Uh, Alex is a fan of Deus Ex like, as a series, so I think uh, Dan played Mankind Divided and really liked it. There's also Scribblenauts Mega Pack on PS4, which includes Unmasked and Unlimited. I haven't played a Scribblenaut since the very, very first one. Mm -hmm. I loved the concept of it, though. And finally, there is a copy of Darksiders 2. Calvin and Bick, thank you. This is fantastic, and um, man, the little donuts are so cute. Gosh darn it. Um, they? They're so adorable. They're, I mean, I, I get it. They're not donuts. They're chocolates, but like, they're so cute. They're so, how do they do that? How do they get, how do they make them look like that? I don't know. Anyway, um, again, thanks for sending everything in. We appreciate it, and uh, you know, we're getting back together with folks, um, so they'll be able to share in some of these delights, especially the can the candy bento box, which was real. Uh, for everyone who sent something in, thank you all. We appreciate it. This uh, I, I know that it's been a little bit since there's been mail. We apologize. Um, we have been <laughs> been a little busy. Uh, but, we, uh, you know, obviously you're getting this mail video now, and then um, you'll be getting uh, the April mail video actually very, very soon as well. So stay tuned for that. And um, as always, if you want to send something in, you can. Uh, there is a link in the description of every mail video that says what to send, what not to send, most importantly, where to send it. And um, with us staying a little more caught up on some things as we move into the summer, I think you'll probably get mail videos a little more frequently so there won't be these large gaps between them. That's the hope, at least. So we'll keep striving for that. Anyway, that is it for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sending stuff in. We'll see you next month. Well, next month. Like a week. For another mail video.